I'm Ellen Lohr and I've been a professional in motorsports for over 30 years and in this time I uh, experienced more or less everything between four and six wheels from formula car to tour touring cars, saloon cars, um, rally, truck racing, off-road rally. I've been to the Rally Dakar 16 times not only as a driver but also as a team manager, journalist, so I think motorsport is my life. That is very true. It's my big love. Actually, I never knew that I wanted to be a race car driver, so there was no motivation from the beginning. But having some, some success in karting and later in Formula Ford, I was, a, I was a German champion, first female ever to be a German champion in Formula Ford, which was a big series with 40 starters at the time. Uh, I got more motivated to really start thinking about the possibility to be a professional in this sport. So it was a long process actually. It was a big deal to go to DTM because it was a big um, and good contract with Mercedes-Benz within the German Touring Car Championship, which was at the time the championship worldwide in saloon cars. So that was for sure a big step for me because I originally wanted to do Formula Car and of course one day drive in Formula One uh, in my dreams. And um, so stepping there into the saloon car world or touring car world was a big step for me. I will never forget that 2000, um, four or three. I was standing on a racetrack by myself in the rain, everything went bad and I said okay I lost my motivation actually completely and it was a thing that I thought I stop now or I do something completely different but in motorsport, in racing and that's where I completely changed <coughs> métier and I went to uh, rally. So I did three years German rally championship, which is a complete different world. Suddenly you have to listen to your co-driver. You have to learn everything about how to do the notes. You have to drive big hearted with these big jumps where you never precisely know what's behind there. So that was a big step for me. And from there I did uh, off-road racing and, and, and all these new motorsport world for me. So that was another big step. Let's say after the first 10 years of my career, it was clear that is my life. I, I just enjoyed being on the racetracks, later enjoyed being in the desert somewhere, shoveling, <laughs> all completely hopeless. Nevertheless, it was beautiful. And as till today, when I go to a track, when I am in the pit lane, it's like absolutely great. I, I, I feel connected. And um, with this experience, for me, it was always clear that I would do something in motorsport. I would never have expected that my career was so long, because 30 years in professional motorsport, my biggest achievement, I would say, um, that I could do that so long. And uh, till today, I'm not racing anymore. Since 2019, I stopped. And uh, since um, the beginning of the year 2020, I'm the motorsport director at AVL. It's a big, huge company in the automotive world. So I stay with motorsport, we do everything from Formula 1 to MotoGP, what I love as a fan very much, uh, everything, rally, everything. So um, in this position I, I'm a lot at my desk, but I can also go a lot on the racetracks again and yeah, keep, keep this connection. The secret of a happy life, first place, is um, good health and a short memory. And a little bit you can put that into the motorsport world as well because motorsport means up and downs, extreme ups and extreme downs. So if you can forget this down part, it's good for your, good for your health and that is good for a happy life. Well, it's always good to be on the podium, no doubt about that. Yeah? I had the chance to drive a Formula 3000, which is like a Formula 2. In, in, um, with Dr. Marco, well-known Formula One team, team boss, as we all know, very strict. He was that already 30 years ago or 25 years ago. So I had the chance to drive a Formula 3000 and um, I missed to qualify. And I missed to qualify because I was unlucky, because the, uh, the qualifying one was in the rain, I was very good. The qualifying two was in the dry and I had a gearbox problem in the first lap and I couldn't do the race. My only chance to do a Formula 2 race in my life. And I, I, I regret that very much. So if I could 
live a moment again. It would not be a happy moment, it would be this moment and it would be before the second practice because then I could, could have told Dr. Marco what do you think about a gearbox change. Mm, I had a very special experience in Peru uh, during the Dakar when I had a gun on my, my forehead. And uh, that moment was very special in my life, let's say like that. It was just a short moment, but it was very long, like when you have a crash and you know already you will crash and when you see on the TV, TV it's and for yourself it's And then this, this stretch of moments, it, I had very intense when I had, the, when I had this gun on my, on, my, on my forehead from a robber. And um, this moment I had by myself, definitely, I had on my own, 